So we're about to expand this out. And one thing you should notice here is that I went back and rewrote them with minus the complex part in parentheses and minus the complex part in parentheses. There is a reason I'm doing this. It's gonna be a little bit faster for us here. All right, we're multiplying three terms together. You can technically only multiply two at a time. So the two I'm gonna multiply first are the first two. And at the end, when I'm done with this product, then we'll take this whole product and multiply it into the last term. The reason is because we're gonna have a little bit of complex conjugates canceling out nicely. All right, so going right here, x times x, x squared, no problem. All right, now we're gonna go uh, outside, inside. So here's our outside terms. So we get minus x times one minus i. So it's x times uh, negative one minus i. Now we're gonna go inside, it's another negative x times one plus i. And now last terms, they're both negative. These are the last terms, so the negatives will cancel. And if you look at that, we get plus one plus i, one minus i. Oh, those are complex conjugates. Good thing we left it like this. All right, so this looks hideous, but we're gonna keep going. It's about to get a lot nicer. Okay, so we'll start cleaning this up. All right, let's get clever here. I see we got minus x minus x. So one thing we can do is factor that out. And what are we left with? One minus i. So basically this plus this is what's gonna be in here. All right, so this is neat because i and negative i cancel out. All right, we got a, a conjugate product here. So it's gonna be one times one is one, and it's gonna be minus i squared, because it's negative i times i, and then you square it. All right, we're getting there. It's a lot less bad than it used to be. We're gonna do one more simplification here. So we got one plus one is two, and down here, one plus one, remember i squared is negative one, so you're subtracting negative one. All right, so how do you f distribute this? It's technically not really called foiling. You're gonna distribute here, and you're gonna do this one on your own. You're gonna go first term. So the way I like to think about this, you're just pairing up all combinations here. So we got everything times the first term and then everything times the second term. You're gonna get six terms when you're done with this. And you just gotta be patient, combine like terms. You're definitely gonna get an x cubed. You're gonna get an x squared term, x to the first power and a constant term, and you're gonna have several of those uh, squared and first power terms. You're gonna combine them together and you will get some expanded polynomial and that is called standard or expanded form.